Hey everybody, back in the shop again today. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, kind of a different project. It's woodworking, but there's going to be some other stuff involved in it. Um, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name's Luther from Luther's Woodworking. Um, let me just show you here. I'll move my camera. Let me show you what we're going to do. It's going to be a, a Wisconsin uh, beer bottle cap plaque. Let me just move my camera here so you can see here. Um, it's going to be a plaque. And it's going to be a shape of Wisconsin because I'm from Wisconsin. Um, you can do this in any state you want. Um, so what I did here was uh, ordered some stencils. Now I'm going to put a link below in the description on where I get these stencils from. But I ordered some stencils um, off of Amazon. And um, I thought I ordered the right size of Wisconsin. When I got it, it was a little small. So what I ended up doing was... Just uh, tracing it on a piece of paper, and then I took it in, had it enlarged, because I wanted it this size right here. And you can see there's a big difference in size right here. I wanted a, a pretty good size uh, plaque. Um, the size of this plaque is, let me see here. The size of this plaque is about, oh, 17 inches by about 14, 14 and a half inches. Um, and, and it's a good size plaque, and but you're gonna see there's all kinds of holes in this plaque and lines on it and stuff. Um, I use this uh, template. Oh, actually, this is the template. This is not the plaque. This, and then what I do once I got the size that I wanted, I took quarter inch uh, plywood and created a template. So every time I want to make this plaque, I just gotta lay it on my piece of wood and trace around it, and then I can just hang this up in my shop right here. And use it over and over and over. But you're gonna see there's a whole bunch of holes in this uh, template. And that's because we're gonna be adding some beer bottle caps to this plaque. It's a plaque um, with 71 different types of beer bottle caps mounted in it. And they're glued in it. And I'm gonna show you all that later on in the video. But it's a pretty interesting plaque if you have a bar in your house or a man cave. or It's a good conversation piece. I do sell a lot of these um, from at craft shows, farmer's markets, and things like that. You know, if you're a fan of drinking beer or anything like that, it's a good conversation piece. They see this and they say, wow, where would you get that from? So that's what we're going to be building today. Um, and what I build it out of is three-quarter inch plywood. Um, I buy the plywood that's sanded on one side. This is not Baltic birch, although it is a nice a nice plywood. Um, Baltic birch is a lot more expensive than this piece of plywood. Uh, this is a 24 inch by 24 inch uh, piece of plywood, which is very inexpensive in my area. Um, but like I said, it's not Baltic birch. Um, it has a nice sanded side on one side, which that's what you want for the front of your plaque. And then if I turn this over, the back side, you'll see, has a few imperfections. It's got some knots and stuff like that, you know. So nobody's going to see the back once it's hanging on the wall. So it don't really matter what the back looks like. Um, but like I say, it's inexpensive. It's not the real expensive plywood. So what I do is once I got my pattern made, and here's the pattern that I use. On this one 24 inch by 24 inch piece, I can get two of these Wisconsins traced out with uh, minimal minimal waste, but I use this waste for other stuff. So I try to get the maximum out of my small piece of plywood here so I can get two of these um, out of this piece of plywood. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut this Cut this apart where these two Wisconsins are right here, and we're just going to be back at the scroll saw to cut out this one. So let me cut this out. I'm going to do it off camera. I'm just going to, I got to kind of chop away at this a little bit on my bandsaw to get this cut out. But once I get this cut out, we'll be back at the scroll saw to, to cut out this um, Wisconsin plaque. All right, guys, we are at the scroll saw here. We're going to cut this Wisconsin plaque out. Um, shouldn't take too long.
I think I'm going to change my blade here. I got to have a new blade. And I'm using uh, number five modified geometry blade, number five, Pegas. Um, it seems to work pretty good on three quarter inch lumber. Guys, we are done with this uh, Wisconsin uh, plaque, cutting it out. We are going to head back over to the uh, workbench and talk a little bit about what we're going to do next. All right, so back at the bench here, um, you got it cut out. What you're going to do next, you're going to take your plaque here that you have made, laid on top of you now. Let me talk a little bit about this uh, pattern I made here. Before I mentioned it's got a bunch of holes in. Before it had the holes in, I wanted to see how many bottle caps I could fit on this uh, plaque.
plaque. So what I did was just start setting out some bottle caps. And I will just lay them like this. And you can see this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this one right here has got a hole drilled in the middle of this bottle cap. I did that so I could mark the hole, mark right where I'm going to drill with my forstner bit. And here is the inch and the eighth forstner bit that we're going to drill with. So what I did was laid these caps out on here one at a time. And I took a pencil and traced around this cap. And then I took the pencil and, and through the hole right here on the top. Let me grab a pencil here. Okay, so what I did was just I traced around the cap and then I just took the pencil in this hole and I marked where the hole was. And then I kept on going. I got about oh a quarter inch, three sixteenths or a quarter inch in between caps. And I kept on doing that on each one. Kept on adding the caps, went across this Wisconsin. And then just kept on, I, you, want, you want to keep them apart about a quarter inch to three sixteenths. But I just went and seen how many bottle caps I could fit on this whole state of Wisconsin. Just kind of putting them. They don't have to be in any straight line or anything like that. I just kind of went around the edge and then I just kind of filled in and just did as many, traced around as many bottle caps as I could. And it came out to, uh, I think there's 71 on here. So once I did that and I had the holes marked, all I did then was I took an awl and I just punched at where the center was so my drill bit would follow that. And then I would go, then I went to the drill press and drilled, I think this is a quarter inch hole in here. So I could use this as a template to mark on all the plaques that I make. So now we have this plaque cut out, and I have this made with all the holes in here where all the caps are going to be, because this hole right here is the center of the cap. Now what we're going to do is lay this plaque on this one we just cut out, and we're just going to mark all these centers. And that's just going to tell us where to uh, drill a hole. Now, if I, I don't have a, a bottle cap Wisconsin one here to show you what it looks like, so this is going to have to be a video that you're going to have to watch right to the end because I, I don't have one to show you. They're all packed up in my van ready for the next show. So, otherwise I would show you one. But just go and mark all your centers for these bottle caps. And that way, when we go to the drill press, we'll know exactly where to drill these holes. But make sure you keep these caps about 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch apart because you don't want the center part to chip out when you drill these holes. It makes it a lot easier when you have a template like this because you, then you don't have to keep on measuring and laying out your project. I can grab this template at any point and just lay it out and trace. And make sure you don't forget one of these. All right, so here we go. Now you'll see. You got all the marks for all the centers for these bottle caps. Now the next thing I do is I will grab my awl and I'll just mark the center. And that's I do that because my drill bit 
the force and the drill bits, they have a little point in the middle. And it just works nice for lining things up. So, let me uh, get these all uh, marked out. All right, so we have all these marked with the all. Um, we're going to go over to the drill press and drill an inch and an eighth. This is an inch and eighth force in a bit. We're going to drill down about an eighth inch on each one of these. Um, and I'll explain later, once we get done with that, why I'm using an inch and an eighth versus... Uh, inch or any other size. I'll explain all that later, but um, we're going to head over to the drill press and uh, drill these holes. Okay, here at the drill press now, um, we're going to drill some holes here. Like I say, I got to I got to get an inch and an eighth is what I'm using for a drill press. Take this one out of here. This is an inch and eighth, inch and eighth for us in a bit. Put that in there. And what we're going to do is this we're going to just pick one area right here. And we're going to go down about, I'd say, maybe an eighth of an inch. So that is, I would say, about an eighth of an inch, maybe just a little three sixteenths. Um, and I'm going to set my drill bit, and I'm going to put it down in there, and I'm going to set my stop. So every one of these holes are going to be the same, same depth. So that's what you want. And what's nice about having that little divot put in there with your awl is that little point on your Forstner bit will we'll find that divot and you'll be right on the mark. <laughs> sure too is have a sharp force in a bit because you don't want you don't want this to chip out if you can help it in between these bottle caps it just won't look good so you want a real sharp drill bit I'm gonna get these drilled and then we're gonna be back So, got all the holes drilled in there. Just tap out all your shavings. There's going to be a bunch of shavings in here. Just clean it up a little bit. Alright, so we're going to head over back over to the workbench now that we got all the holes drilled and then we're gonna I'm gonna explain to you exactly what we got to do next here okay so once you have all your holes drilled with the inch and eighth drill bit um, 
you're gonna wanna. Well, what I did, what I did off camera, I didn't tell you before when you first cut this out. Um, run a palm sander, you know, on the back, get any stickers off the back, and then run a palm sander over this just to maybe get some uh, the pencil mark from tracing. You just want to run lightly with a palm sander. This is pre-sanded plywood, but just touch it up with some 120 or whatever sandpaper you palm sander. Just give it a nice smooth look. Uh, once you got all your holes drilled in here, the next step is actually going to be to stain this or finish it any color you want. Um, I use gunstock. That's the color I use on all these plaques. It's a really, I like the looks of gunstock. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to take and uh, brush on a stain. Uh, you can do it on the inside of these holes too. We'll just stain this whole thing front and back, all gun stock, and then let it dry overnight. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera, and then we'll be back once it's all dried, and, and we will finish this up. Okay, guys, we are back. I uh, got my uh, Wisconsin uh, plaque all stained. Let me just show you right here. Got it all stained. Got your holes in it. We got it all stained. I used a, a gun stock stain on the front and all the way on the back. Um, and then I sprayed it with a sealer. So once you got all that done, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fit all your caps in here. Um, and that's where using an inch and an eighth force in a bit, I'll explain that, but you need to use an inch and an eighth because I experimented with a couple different sizes of bits. So here we got um, 71 or 72 bottle caps here, if you can see it. Um, right here, and they're all different caps from the area where I live. And what we're going to do is fit them in here. Um, I'm just Some of them are going to slide right in this in this inch and eighth hole and some won't fit in and I'll explain why that's that's the case. So we're just going to start putting these in and they don't have to be in any way, any special uh, way. The, I mean the words can show any way you want. Um, some of these will go in and some won't. Now here's one that's a little tight. Now I always have something to get these out. But this one, this one here you see, it, it slid right in the hole, and it looks really nice. If you look, and that's how you want it to look. It doesn't move around, and there's no edge showing. That one slid right in, but here's one right here. It doesn't slide right in, so we're going to leave it like that. And we're just going to go and grab. Now, this one doesn't fit in right here. Um, so we're just going to put these caps in random order. Now, that one slid right in. And that's why I say you can, and, and most people would say, well, why don't you just drill the hole bigger? Well, I tried that. The next size from an inch and an eighth uh, Forstner bit is an inch and three sixteenths. Now, you use an inch and three sixteenths, which is this size right here. If you take a cap that fits in a hole, let's say you take this cap out here. This cap fits in an eighth, inch and eighth hole. But if you put it in an inch and three sixteenths hole, see how much it moves around in that hole? That doesn't look good because it's got all that extra room. See that? So you don't want that. So I, you can't drill a bigger hole because it's, some caps will fit in, some caps won't. You want it to fit nice and tight like that. But I'm going to show you how to get these caps to fit in these holes. And that will, and that is not a hard process. That one doesn't fit in. But you're going to go, see now that one fits in nice. But you, what you want to do is just kind of get your caps where you want to put them. If they don't fit in, they don't fit in. If they fit in, well that's a plus. So just keep on putting all your caps where you want. Don't force them in because you don't want to force these caps in here. It's not going to look good. You just keep on putting them up like this here and if they fit in, they fit in. They don't, they don't. Probably the most of them will fit in. It'll probably be about 50-50 that will fit in. But I'm going to show you how to get these caps that don't fit in to fit in these holes. 
and it'll look nice. The project goes a little quicker if they do all fit in, but if they don't, I'm going to show you how to get them to fit. And it's not a big process to do that. And the reason why, and I'm going to explain to you right now, the reason why some of these don't fit is because of the crimp that's put around on these caps. Some are bigger than others. That's why. All these caps fit on the same size of bottle. And you look at them, you look at them and you say, oh, they all look like the same size of cap. But it's the crimp around the outside edge. Some are crimped tighter, some are crimped bigger. And that's what doesn't fit in there. And they just don't fit in by just a, a little bit. Could be a 64th of an inch. You know, it just doesn't fit in there. But it's because of the crimp. The caps are all the same size. So we're just going to continue on here. And we're just going to stick these here. Some will fit, some won't fit. And the reason why you want to do this, because you want to see which ones don't fit, because then, then all we got to do is fix that problem on the ones that don't fit. So let me just get all these caps, and you just put them in any random order. Now, if you don't have, if you want to make this, and you don't have 71 different types of beers, because when I first started this project, and when I first came up with this project, I didn't have 71 different types of beers. So I ended up having the same type of beer cap a couple times on the plaque. But um, now I probably have close to 10,000 or more caps, so I have a pretty good uh, supply to choose from. See, some of these just don't fit in there. Some pop right in. And uh, just keep on putting them in. Get this up here so you can see. But I'm just... I'm just, I'm not forcing nothing. If they slide in, they slide in. If they don't, I'm just leaving them out a little ways. Because once they're in, they're kind of hard to get out with your fingers. I kind of use a sharp tool like a, a, a metal ruler or something just to kind of get down on the edge like this here and raise it up. Because sometimes they're just hard to get out because it's so smooth around the edge of the cap. But that's how you want them to fit. And you'll find that certain brands of beer caps will fit in an inch and an eighth, in the, and certain brands of beer won't fit in an inch and an eighth. So after a while, you'll figure out uh, which ones fit, which ones don't fit. Now, I'm doing all different types of uh, beer caps here. You could do one with all one, one brand of beer if you wanted to. It just makes things faster if, if everything fits, but you're not going to get everything to fit. All right, so we have all the caps in here, but not all of them fit. There's a, probably 10, 12 of them that ain't fitting in there. Um, let me get things set up, and I'm going to show you how we're going to get them to fit in there really easy. And also, another thing you're going to notice with some of your caps, most beer nowadays is all twist-offs, but some of the beer comes with... Um, the cap has a little dent in it like this here. And um, like me, I got so many caps, I could afford to throw this one out, find one. But if you wanted to use this cap, this might be one needs to be taken off with a bottle opener. So this kind of cap will always have a dent in it. But I'll show you how you can fix that problem too, as far as dents. Because some of them do have some dents in them. This one here has a uh, good size Good size dent in it right here, but you can fix that. No problem, I'll show you that. So let me get a few things set up and we're gonna get these caps to fit in these holes. All right guys, um, I'm set up over here by my one inch belt uh, sander here. Um, and I got the, the plaque that we got all the caps in right here. I got that sitting off to my right. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab each cap 
and we're going to do a little sanding on this one inch belt sander. So let me just uh, get the camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But all you got to do is uh, sand a little bit of that crimp around that cap. And I'll show you how I do it. And then just put it back into the hole and it should fit right in there. All right, so here's my one inch belt sander. I got a little piece of paper towel down here on it right here because so, you don't want to scratch up your uh, top of your cap if you don't have to. So all we're going to do is turn the belt sander on. You got to make sure you got your uh, your back support on your belt sander so you, it doesn't push so it's not real flexible. So I'm going to turn this on and all you're going to do is and I just kind of hold it with my finger in the middle right here and I just kind of turn it with my thumb and you're just taking off a little bit of that the, the tips of that uh, crimp. That's all you're doing is just sanding off the tips of that crimp because like I said these almost fit in that hole. Just a little bit has to come off. Okay, so now, and I will say too, because this is metal and you're sanding on it, this might get a little warm, not real super hot, but it might, you know, you might have to stop a little bit, but it might get a little warm. So now I just went around it, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little shinier around the edge of that bottle cap. Now that bottle cap should fit right in that hole. And let me just move the camera here. All right, instead of moving the camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bring this plaque right here. And you'll see, I took... Um, that bottle cap, and I took that out of this hole right here, if you can see it, right out of here. And it did not fit in that hole um, before. So now I just take it. It's a little, it's a little snug. And like I say, you can grab yourself your little a sharp tool to get it back out again. It's just a little snug, a little tighter than I want it. So what I'm going to do... is just take a little more off this cap. All right, I just went around some more. Just took a little bit more off that, that flange. And now we got our um, plaque right here. We got that hole right here where it did not fit in before. We're just going to take that and it fits right in. And you're going to go and do that to all of these, like this cap right here. Um, it's hard to see, but the flange is quite big on that cap right there. So that's going to take a little bit of grinding on that one, but it, it won't take very long to do that. Like I say, depending on how long you sand on this, this does get a little warm. And each time you just do it a little bit, bring your plaque back and try it. And it's still a little tight yet. So we're just going to keep on going at it. And that does get a little warm, but some caps you have to take off a little more than others. Most of them, just a couple times around, the sander will come right off and fit right in. So now that one, you can see it popped right in. So now all these in the bottom fit in, then you move over to this next one right here. We'll do one more here. Because I'm not going to do all these on video. It will take a little while to do all this, but you're just going to go through your whole plaque one at a time. The ones that don't fit... 
Just do a little sanding on it. We'll try that one over on this hole right here. And that one popped right in. See, so you're just going to continue on. Now, I don't know if you don't have a one-inch uh, belt uh, sander. I'm not quite sure how you're going to get these to fit in. I did try a couple things. Um, they didn't work. This was about the only thing that worked for me to get these caps to fit. And, um, but it, So a one-inch belt sander, uh, most woodworkers have it. But if you don't have one, um, it's not a bad tool to have if you're going to do some woodworking or have a have a shop to have this in. So I would suggest buying a one-inch belt sander. But short from not having a one-inch belt sander, if you don't have one, you'd have to use caps that all fit in, the ones that all fit in. But that limits the, the type of beer or soda caps that you can put in your plaque. So if you really want to do this the correct way, get a one-inch belt sander because I think that would be the... You could use a, a disc sander. I'm not sure. I like this one inch belt sander. is a lot safer, I think. So, yeah. So, we're going to head back over to... I'm going to fi actually finish all these here. Because after you get these all fit in, that's when you're going to glue all these in. And I'll show you how I do that. These are going to be all glued in. So, let me uh, get these all fit in here. There's only about maybe 10 of them to fit in. And then we'll be back at the workbench and just glue all these in. Okay, guys, uh, we are back. I got all the caps uh, sanded to fit in these holes. Let me just show you here what we got. Um, here's the plaque with all the caps in. They're not glued in yet. I got them all sanded on the one-inch belt grinder. Um, like I said, these caps, use a little sharp tool to get them out. But the little, the little bit of sanding that you do on the side of these caps, you will not see it once, once you pop it in the hole you won't see that um, sanding part but get all got all the caps to fit in here nice uh, the next step would be to glue them in here now make sure that you finish your plaque stain it paint it whatever you're gonna do before you put these caps in um, because once they're in it would be totally impossible to try to try to stain this or get this to look nice um, so the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of this uh, uh, medium Super glue. Um, super glue uh, comes in fine, medium, and thick. I got medium here. Um, we're going to just take these caps out one at a time. And that's where I, I just use a sharp little tool. You can use a, anything that you can get, get in here to, to get this cap out. Once you got the cap out, you're just going to take this glue and you're just going to spread a little bit of glue on the outside of this circle. And then you're just going to set that cap back in there. Um, that's that's all it is basically you're just going to take each cap out like this and put a little glue around the outside of that edge and you're going to set that cap back in there and um, you're going to keep on doing that until you get them all glued in um, I use super glue because we're dealing with gluing metal to wood so I don't I don't like using wood glue. I don't think it would hold as well. You're just gonna keep on going around and pop them in in there. Uh, I had have not had any of them come out lately. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that, and you can see they fit in there really nice. Um, I did use an inch and an eighth uh, Forstner bit, like I said, inch and an eighth. An inch is too small, and an inch and three sixteenths is too big. Um, so, I would suggest using an inch and an eighth because fifty percent of them are going to fit in. Fifty percent of them won't fit in, but you can always sand them on that one inch belt grinder. So, I'm going to get the rest of these uh, glued in. They don't really take that long to glue these in. And once you get them glued in. 
you will have a nice looking plaque like this here which would be great to hang into a, a bar or a man cave or anywhere in your house I'm sure once somebody sees this they're gonna they're gonna wonder where you got it they're gonna ooh and ah at it um, and then what I usually do on the back of this is I put a scissors hanger I put a scissors hanger on the back of this to uh, hang it on the wall so we're gonna I'm gonna get these all glued in and I'm going to be back to talk a little bit, and then this should pretty much cover it for this this project. Hi guys, we are done as far as gluing the caps in. Let me just show you what we got here. Caps are all glued in, nice and tight. Um, and then after that, I ended up putting a sawtooth hanger on the back. You don't have to, but I did. So that pretty much wraps it up for this project. Um, I'll put a link below in the description of where I get these stencils for the different states. You can get them any size you want, from real small to real large. Um, so whatever state you're from, you can do that. Just remember that this is Wisconsin, so I got 71 caps in here. Other states, and depending on the size you do your plaque, will be more or less caps. Um, as far as the plywood, this is not Baltic birch. It's but it's not the worst plywood neither. This is sanded on one side. The back side does have a couple uh, imperfections on it, but nobody's going to see that. It's sanded on the front. Um, what you want to do at the begin of this project is make yourself a pattern to go by. That way, every time you want to make this uh, project, you can just take this and lay this on your plywood, trace around it, mark where your holes are at, and then you don't have to do all kinds of measuring every time you want to do a project. These uh, little templates like this are handy to have. Um, as far as the caps, I use an inch and an eighth Forstner bit. Um, I had mentioned one inch bit is too small, inch and three sixteenths is uh, too large. So if you use an inch and an eighth, the majority of the caps are going to fit right in the hole without taking them to your belt sander. The ones that don't fit in, you can just take to your belt sander and just sand that edge on that cap like I showed you before. And then they should just slide right in. Now don't glue your caps in until you actually finish your plaque. Put your stain and paint and all that stuff on before you put your caps in. Because once you got your caps in, there's no, really no way you're going to be able to, to finish this plaque. So once you glue your caps in, you're pretty much uh, done with the plaque. Um, other than putting the sawtooth hanger on the back. So um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because I do have more videos uh, coming out. Um, and like I said, I'll put links in the description for my stencils. I'll put links in the description for the glue, um, the caps. I know you can buy caps on eBay and other, uh, sites on the internet. I get all my caps from locally around my area. So, again, if you like the project, give me a thumbs up. And we will see you next time on another project.